The theme of the readings, the first and the third readings for our Mass this Sunday, is a fulfillment. Jesus fulfills the prophecy of Jeremiah. Jeremiah is not real happy with the religious leaders of his time. And he said that God says, you have led my flock astray. I am going to be the shepherd. I myself will shepherd them. And then Jesus comes along. And then he says that they, the people seeking him, are like sheep without a shepherd, and there he is. So he, all we have is a simple fulfillment in Mark's gospel of uh, uh, Jeremiah prophecy that everybody knew at the time of Jesus. So that's the theme of the day. My uh, approach to it is about prayer. Strange, but I, I think I can uh, weave this in a little bit with what Jesus is doing. Because the apostles have come back from doing good things. They're telling Jesus all about the good things they did. He said, let's go to a deserted place and rest. In a sense, let's go on retreat. Let's go where we can just relax in the goodness of our lives and the goodness of what we're doing. So they get in the boat and they go across and the people see that they go, so they run around and they get to the other side before their boat gets there. It looks like their retreat day is over. And it is. Except it isn't. And that's what I want to talk about. It's it's about what do you think what what do you think most people think about when they say the word prayer? It's usually asking for something. Which is one form of prayer. What I'm suggesting is another way of praying that is about receiving about letting Jesus be shepherd, about our being the object of Jesus' prayer over us. Can you imagine that, that prayer is taking time to let Jesus be shepherd of our lives? That, that maybe, and this happens often with me, is rather than asking, I find God saying, why don't you pray with what I've already given you? Why do you want more? Why more, please? Why is, is our, our humanity, our egos, yes, this is good, but we'd like more. So what, what prayer is, I think, is sometimes it's asking, but sometimes it's going to another place, call it quiet. But most people, and they get a little discouraged by this, but I think there's something in it. They get discouraged by distractions, which they think are the opposite of attractions. No, distractions then become a way of finding out what is our real prayer? What's really going on? And it's really hard to convince people and myself to pray with distractions. What's distracting me? Well, they go off to be in a quiet place and they get distracted by the needs of the sheep who are like without a shepherd. They have needs. So does each of us have needs? And we come to Jesus who it wants to be shepherd more than be distant, to be across from us. So he goes from one side of the lake where there are people to the other side. The object of prayer then is a reception of God's love for us or God's prayer for us or Jesus comforting us. Yes? We interrupt, we say this, we interrupt God. 
No, God is more attentive to us than we are to ourselves. The basic message I think of today is that doing good is a result of praying. That the object of prayer is not that we feel good or get a good insight, but that we become, as Jesus was and the apostles were, that they become, we become available. That we are moved from our prayer to the others who are also like sheep without a shepherd or like the sheep of God who needs our attention. So that the object of prayer is not more pleased, but that we be more disposed or available to the interruptions of the needs of others. But if I don't pray, if I don't let God bless me, if I don't let Jesus be the shepherd of my life, then I will pray for more, please. It'll be about me, please. And I become primary to the needs of others around me. So the object of prayer is a fruitfulness that I offer to others, that Jesus blesses me as he blessed the Eucharist and says, now, take and receive. Isn't that a great way to live? That we say to others, what I've received, and I, 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 I let it be blessed, what I've received is not mine. But I, there's, there are people interrupting us all the time. It's not just in our prayer we have thoughts that interrupt us. Our lives get interrupted by the needs of children, spouses, neighbors, the sick, the poor, you name it. They're available to us if we are available to them. So we think that prayer might be, let's go to a deserted place and be quiet and maybe pray more, please. And what Jesus is in today's gospel is not more for me, please, but more that I may be for others. Thank you. So it's not please. It's generosity. It's my then my life being a prayer because I prayed. A day that I don't pray, I feel for, sorry for the people I'm going to meet because I'm not, I might not be as available to them as my prayer would allow me to be. Thank you. Here. We continue then, Jesus as shepherd of his people.